When I first moved to Spain, my Spanish was terrible and that really inhibited my ability to, to explore the off the beaten path and on the beaten path tapas bars and restaurants of this country. But I had a secret weapon, my wife, Yoli. Exactly, so I helped James enjoy his gastronomic passion by teaching him the most important phrases that he needed to just walk in a bar, in a Spanish tapas bar or a restaurant and just handle himself like a Spaniard. And we're going to teach you those phrases today so you can hit all those places. We're going to give you lots of tips uh, so you can feel totally comfortable and totally local in the bars and restaurants of Spain. Hey Spain lovers, my name's James Blick. And I'm Yolanda Martin. And welcome to Spain Revealed. This channel is all about helping you explore and understand Spain like a local. And there's nothing more local than handling yourself like a local in a tapas bar or restaurant. That's what today is all about. You know, in the little villages of Spain, the, the, the neighborhoods, the kind of places that you really want to hit, the really authentic places uh, that are off the beaten path, there may not be a lot of English spoken uh, mm -hmm. or whatever language you speak. So, you know, having some Spanish will really mean you can access those places and have a, a super deep experience experience while you're there and even in some of the the bigger you know a little more uh, big city places if you know a little bit of Spanish you get the credit of the waiter yeah. so we're gonna you hit get the kudos you get the kudos yeah. exactly so Yoli obviously a native speaker I'm not a native speaker but I've learned Spanish and so we're gonna give you those key tips and so where are we going Yoli we're going to Casa Tony, one of our favorite uh, places uh, to hang out and you know have food and drinks in Madrid. Exactly, it's like our tapas bar living room and that's where we're going to go and teach you all these key tips. Okay, so here we are in Casa Tony, our favorite tapas bar, perfect place to learn how to handle yourself and speak uh, in a tapas bar or restaurant. Well, the first thing when you walk into a tapas bar or restaurant in Spain is you need somewhere to sit, you need a table. So how do I ask for a table for two in Spanish, Yoli? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> you say, una mesa para dos, por favor. Una mesa para dos, por favor. A table for two, please. So you walk in the door, and that's the first thing you say. Now, a little, well, what if you're traveling on your own? Una mesa, por favor. Una mesa, por favor. Una mesa, por favor. And una mesa para dos, por favor. You've just come through the door. Now, the thing is, in a place like Casa Tony, like this one, you actually don't have to ask for a table. You just kind of come and sit down, because they're quite rustic and informal. But in, you know, kind of more elegant places you will have to ask for a table here's the thing often you want to stay at the bar you don't want a table because there's more action at the bar it's kind of more fun it's more animated uh, you can see that there's people behind us standing at the bar uh, or, or sitting on stools at the bar that's very typical in Madrid you know whereas in Barcelona for example you generally will always want a table in a tapas bar there's not as much tradition there as standing at the bar so if we want to stay at the bar what would we say Yoli? Nos quedamos en la barra. Nos quedamos en la barra. Okay perfect so we're either sitting down or at the bar but now we need a menu. Right. Here at Casa Tony, the menus are generally on the table but you will often find that menus won't necessarily be available. They're sometimes a bit random and, and they might hard be... Hard to get sometimes. Yeah, yeah, hard to get. They might be <laughs> hidden somewhere. Uh, so how would I ask for the menu? La carta, por favor. La carta, por favor. So okay. that's how you ask for the menu. But there's another word that you will see that looks like menu in English and that's menu. Uh, but that doesn't mean the physical menu. The menu is actually the menu del dia or a, 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 a kind of a fixed price multiple course meal that's what menu means so menu does not mean uh, the physical menu just keep that in mind yeah uh, the word for physical menu is carta. So, carta la carta por favor la carta por favor that's exactly right. okay so we've got the menu but I want some wine sure. so how do we get the wine list La carta de vinos, por favor. La carta de vinos, por favor. That's what you'll right. often find is the wine list won't be just given to you by default. Uh, sometimes you'll have to ask for it. So if you don't see any wine on the main menu, then yeah, you have to ask for la carta de vinos, por favor. Uh, but if you just want to have a glass, often the glasses that are available are not on the wine list and sometimes are not written anywhere, but it's yeah, just sure. the waiter just has them in, her, in their head. Yeah. So how would I ask, you know, what wines are available by the glass? Well, listen to this one. ¿Qué vino tenéis por copa? So again, ¿qué vino tenéis por copa? ¿Qué vino tenéis por copa? That's so right. that's a way to say, look, what wines have you got by the glass? That's like a little bit of a pro level there if you're, if you're feeling courageous. Yeah. Uh, and so you can find out. But I tell you what, it's great, you know, being able to order by the glass because you can try a variety of different wines. And don't worry if you get a little bit confused because you're never going to pay more than about four or so euros maximum for, you know, so if you make a mistake, no big deal. 
But here's a little tip. There will be probably a, a higher quality of, or a, a bigger range of wines available by the bottle. So there might be three or four available by the glass, uh, but by the bottle on the wine list, there might be 50. Yep. And so it might be the more simple wines that are available by the glass. And so if you want to really drink some great wine, then push the boat out, get a bottle. Look, if you're going to have a couple of glasses each, it's worth it. Yeah, why not? Right? And remember, the, the, the wine list will always be divided by the region. Okay, so we want to order our wine now. Sure. You know, what if, what, how do I order a bottle of red wine? Quería una botella de vino tinto, por favor. Quería una botella de vino tinto, por favor. Or just una botella de vino tinto, por favor. Una botella de vino tinto, por favor. O vino blanco, white wine. Vino blanco. Mm -hmm. Una botella de vino blanco, mm -hmm. por favor. Okay, so we're good there. What if I know the region I want? I, those of you who are regular watchers will have heard of the wine region of Rioja. Uh, we made a video about that. Well, Yoli filmed it and sure. I presented it. Uh, so what if I wanted to get a bottle of Rioja, that wine, famous wine region, for example? Then you say, una botella de Rioja. Por favor. Una botella de Rioja, por favor. Right. Okay, we're not going to go by the bottle, we're going to go by the glass. So I want a glass of red wine. How do I ask for that? Una copa de vino, por favor. Una copa de vino, por favor. That's right. But how would I say white wine or red wine? Then you say, una copa de vino tinto, or una copa de vino blanco, por favor. Exactly. Una copa de vino tinto, una copa de vino blanco. Here's the thing. The word for red in Spanish is rojo, but you don't say vino rojo, red no. wine. You don't say that. You say vino tinto. That's, That's right. a little key there. Yeah. Um, okay. So look, I don't even want wine. I want beer. Yes. How do I get beer? Beer, well, a beer this size, small size, it's a caña, so caña. una caña, por favor. Una caña, por favor. And look, you can ask for una cerveza, por yeah. favor, but you're going to sound a little more local if you ask for una caña, por favor, which is asking for a draft beer. Now, obviously, if you want a bottled beer, it's a little different. Uh, sure. Then you have to ask for, well, I would just ask for una cerveza in that case. Yeah. Uh, what if... This is a little small. What if I'm used to, you know, I'm a Northern European, I'm used to very large beers and I, my, my, my entire hand covers this <laughs> tiny thimble of beer that, that we drink regularly so in Spain. Uh, what would I ask well, for? Well, then you get a doble. So, una doble, por favor. Una cerveza doble or? Oh, una doble, por favor. Una doble, mm -hmm. por favor. It just means double the size. And I yeah. always say, don't order anything larger than that because if it's available larger than that, you're probably in a tourist trap because mm -hmm. we don't drink beers larger than this, all right? No. But stick to the canyas, it's fine, you can keep changing. Okay, we're almost finished with the liquids. We're almost totally liquided out. Oh, yeah. We have wine, we have beer. Uh, water. Water, right. water. Now, this one is easy, but it has a couple of wrinkles in there, so listen close. All right, how do I ask for water, please? Agua, por favor. Agua. Or un vaso de agua, por favor. Un vaso de agua, por favor. A glass of water. Mm -hmm. Or what about a bottle of water? Una botella de agua, por favor. Una botella de agua, por favor. That's right. Now, here's the thing. We are highly uh, environmentally conscious these days. Uh, bottled water is a disaster for the planet, as I hope you all agree. So, what about tap water? How do I ask for tap water? Agua de grifo, por favor. Agua de grifo. Por favor. That's the word right. grifo means tap. Okay, but here's the thing. If you order tap water in a bar or restaurant in Spain, mm -hmm. what Yoli and I find, because we often do that to save the environment, we often find that we get a little pushback. They'll say that, oh no, the pipes are bad, or, you know... The what? tap's broken. The tap's broken. Yeah. Uh, and they'll try and push the mineral water because obviously they want to push the, the, the bill price up. So if it gets weird, it gets hard, you know, you might end up with a bottle of water, but at least you tried. Yes. Thing is, though, if you're in Barcelona, Barcelona, for example, mm. the tap water doesn't taste very good. So in Barcelona, you are going to be drinking bottled water, and that's perfectly normal. That's fine. Uh, and that's fine. But here in Madrid, the water is amazing. Okay, so we've ordered all the liquids in the world, uh, but now we need to order some food. So, yes, please. So it's time to order food. We've got a menu in front of us, uh, but a menu is going to be divided in Spain, uh, depending a little bit on the region, but there's kind of three terms you're going to see. And, and what are they, Yoli? Those are tapas, medias raciones, and raciones. Exactly. So. Yeah. I mean, you might even see in some uh, bars or restaurants in Seville, you might see three columns on your menu. Mm. First column says tapas. Second column says media raciones. Yeah. Well, media raciones. Yeah, or medias. Or medias. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and the third column says raciones. And you're just getting bigger as you go along. Mm -hmm. uh, now, depending on the region, you might only see one of those or you might see two of those. For example, in Madrid, you generally won't see tapas uh, so on a menu. You'll mm -hmm. see medias raciones and raciones. So on the menu here in Casatoni, for example, uh, maybe I want to get a plate of calamari and some anchovies, some fried anchovies. So mm -hmm. how would I order raciones of those, Yoli? Una ración de calamares, por favor. Una ración de calamares, por favor. A, a plate, a ration, a ración of calamari. En una ración de boquerones, por favor. En una ración de boquerones, por favor, which Voila. is anchovies. Uh, what if I wanted a half ración or a tapa of boquerones, of anchovies? Media ración de boquerones, por favor. Media ración de boquerones, por favor. Okay, so you've been eating, but you just haven't ordered enough. You want to order more food, mm -hmm. and it's actually quite a good idea. You should never order all your food at once in a tapas bar. Order bit by bit. So how do I say to the waiter, I want to order something extra? Quería pedir algo más, por favor. Quería pedir algo más, por favor. I want to order something extra. And mm -hmm. then, you know, you go back back up to, num you know, step four or whatever it is, <laughs> and they bring the bring the menu again, uh, and you order off the menu again, and you ask for your calamares, your boquerones, or what about, or anything like that. What if I've decided that, well, what if I'm really thirsty, I need more, I need another glass of wine, or I just want to get really drunk. So how do I order more alcohol? Otra copa de vino, por favor. Otra copa de vino, por favor. Or another glass of wine. Another or glass of wine. Otra caña, por favor. Otra caña, por favor. That one. So, that's how you do it. Or you could just start again and say, una copa de vino tinto, por favor. Mm. Red wine, if you had been drinking vino blanco. So, you've got your food, you've got your got more food, you've got more wine, we're stuffed. Uh, dessert, what is the word for dessert? Postre. 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 So, if you want to get dessert, you might say, what desserts are there? ¿Qué postres tenéis? ¿Qué postres tenéis? Because often you'll find that they won't necessarily be written down, particularly if you're having that menu del día, that, that fixed price uh, lunchtime menu, the desserts won't necessarily be written down, they'll be in the waiter's head, so you yeah. have to ask. Yeah. And then they'll rattle them all off and you have to remember, so <laughs> that can get a little bit a stressful. Bit tricky, yeah. A bit tricky, uh -huh. Okay, so we've had dessert, we've had our drinks, we've had our food, now comes the sad part, we have to pay. For it. Of course, one thing to always remember, you always pay at the end in tapas bars. You don't pay as you go. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, don't feel like you have to be paying, you know, the whole time. So how do we ask for the bill, Yoli? La cuenta, por favor. La cuenta, por favor. That's There's right. other ways to say it, but that's the simplest way to say it. Yeah. And the words are kind of easy. La cuenta, por mm -hmm. favor. So they bring the bill. If you're not sure about tipping, check out my video about uh, 10 tips for traveling through Spain because uh, there I talk about tipping and how we tip in Spain. Okay, so we've paid, we've tipped, uh, or not. Uh, <laughs> and so what do we do next? I mean, do we just walk out or? We should say thank you, right? We should say thank yeah. you. We should compliment them on the quality yes. of the food. Yeah. So, you know, maybe we want to go back and we want to leave a nice impression. Sure. So how would we say that? We say, muchas gracias, estaba muy rico. Muchas gracias. Estaba muy rico. So, That's right. thank you very much, and it was delicious. Uh, I'm going to make sure to write out, or maybe I'll, Yoli, maybe, maybe you, I can do it. Yeah. You are Spanish. You sure. will, I'll probably make a few spelling mistakes. We will <laughs> write out in the in the description below uh, all the Spanish words we've used, so you can read those. Question: I would love to know uh, what more language videos like this you would really like us to do together. Uh, we love making videos together, and you know, are there any scenarios you would love to know how to negotiate? You know, not just learning the basic. Uh, lingo but kind of with a little cultural commentary around it so you sure. really know how to how to how to dive into Spain and, and really explore it like a local and authentic way uh, so please leave us uh, notes about that in the comments below please subscribe if you want to see more videos about how to uh, explore Spain like a local and thank you for watching it's been great to see you guys so salud, salud. and salud. see you again hasta luego ciao hasta luego